All right, guys, today we're gonna do a little bit of a different video, still important, still valuable, and I know that there are a handful of people on the channel that do actually like uh, when I talk about my watch game. And, you know, even though it is a smart watch we're going to be going over today so and ironically it's on workout mode now but uh it is a smart watch but today i thought it'd be worth going over a kind of six month look uh at my uh, apple watch ultra and talking about the things i like the things i don't like and is it worth it so if you are um, just wondering about getting one, you're thinking about pulling the trigger, I would say this, um, so long as you are comfortable with the size, because this is a 49 millimeter, and I think like the biggest reason why people end up not being happy with these guys is because of the size. Like it is not notably bigger than most of the other Apple watches in the lineup, even the 45 millimeters. It still has four millimeters still on that, so you are wearing that. The other thing too that I think is worth really noting is that thickness. This thing is about a half inch thick thick in overall thickness so do bear that in mind and it is also a hefty watch i forget the exact weight on this guy but it is not a light watch at all but yeah so so long as you're comfortable with living with a heavier larger bigger watch um, i would say that for the most part it's probably worth it now I would say that I don't know if I would pay $800 for it. I did get mine, and I think I explained in my initial video, I got mine on eBay for a substantially reduced price because I got mine when people were getting these. They were new. They were cool. They were hip. And I think a lot of people, especially females, not to be rude or sexist, but they were getting them, expecting them to be smaller than they actually are, and then ended up selling them. So I got mine, like I said, on eBay for a pretty substantially reduced price. But I would say if you can get one for, you you know sub $700 it's probably a good good enough deal and it also really comes back down to the fact of how much do you honestly use a watch um, for me I would say that's another thing that if you are using your watch a lot to communicate whether that's through you know using it as a kind of um, phone if you will or if you're using it for texts for you know uh, responses and you know like typing things out you're uh, responding to emails and stuff like that this is also another very handy asset to have it's also really good at tracking fitness it is definitely superior to a normal uh, apple watch and of course one handy thing that you do get is this little orange button over here that you can press and of course you can uh, hot um, hotkey that to multiple different things um, so you can do that it is it's just an overall very handy kind of multi-function tool of course you can also with this guy like pay for things you can use apple wallet um, so depending on what your use case is if you intend to really use this to its fullest extent i would say it's worth it um, if you get it if you can get it for sub 700 dollars, i would say it's just fine now some of the things that i dislike about it so overall i have to say i guess i should go over the things i do like so first off the durability is definitely there this is for those who don't know a titanium watch body with sapphire bezel on it and of course ceramic white ceramic on the back now one kind of crummy thing is it does only come in raw titanium like this so you can't get it in another color so if that's a deal killer that might be a deal killer to you i don't really care for me it's just fine um but it is the materials are really there this thing really does not have any scratches on it of course the sapphire crystal is completely scratch free and i haven't necessarily like gone out of my way to really preserve it and most of the times as you guys probably see in my youtube videos you know uh, if you watch the channel most of the time i'm wearing it upside down like this so when i'm at a desk typing this is directly down so there's plenty of opportunity for it to scratch it is not scratched at all at least if it has i can't see anything wrong with it um so it's super super durable that is a really big plus the actual watch body you know watch itself is super durable the battery life is there now i will say if you jump through extra hoops you can probably get this thing to you know three or four days uh, for me i average about a two-day lifespan and i think it's important to note that um Activity is the biggest killer of all Apple Watches as a whole because there's so many things that an Apple Watch does um, when it's when you're active so it's tracking your heart rate it's tracking you know your distance it's tracking all of these different metrics so to track activities like doing physical activities with an Apple Watch any of them as a rule will drain the battery um, 
more heavily. So it's important to note that um, you may not get the best battery life out of any Apple Watch. However, as far as you know, battery life goes, that's basically in like general materials and stuff. Those are like the biggest pros I have to say. If you are familiar already with the like Apple Watch ecosystem, then you're basically good to go. Okay, so the biggest cons to this thing, honestly, I really don't have that many outside of once again, like if you know what you're getting into when it comes down to an Apple Watch, like obviously once again, the battery life's not the best, you know, Garmin, Phoenix make better, longer lasting um, watches for that specific thing. Um, but as far as it goes, it's pretty well jam packed with features and stuff. Um, but yeah, so the biggest thing I have to say I dislike is the bands. Now, in fairness, I haven't ran through all of the bands. This is the one that came with it originally. And once again, I wear this watch every day. It's not just something I use when I'm doing activities and such. So for me, I use it every day. And you guys can see that this uh, band right here, it probably doesn't look too bad on the camera, but it is pretty darn worn out. And I don't just mean that like it's it came initially white, right? And it looks dirty, which is true but at the same time too i have to say like where i regularly hook this thing in so how this works is basically you know it's attached to we'll just say like it's attached to the apple watch then you hook this part around and back in on the loop and so it locks in like that right so it would tension around your wrist like that and it's pretty cool pretty easy to use however what i found especially on my most heavily used um like rungs, I guess you could say, is that the stitching has pretty much blown out between these two, because these would be the two that I would usually set the tension of the watch on. So between those two rungs, if you will, um, the the little like clasp basically destroyed or ripped up the stitching but it definitely is not great. So this guy has basically failed for me. Um, it's no longer like really functional. And what I actually do, and what I actually do now is I run a Spigen, um, or yeah, however you want to see it, like Spigen, Spigen. Um, I run one of their straps on here. And honestly, these guys are not only substantially cheaper than um, Apple's OEM bands, but they're also built to like the same quality. So that's what I tend to run on it nowadays is just a Spigen. And uh, this one's pretty cool. Once again, it's kind of like their um, loop, like their sport loop. So you basically just set your tension and then you can just, you know, of course, just take it on and off and uh, just pull it like on and off. So I like it. It's quick. It's easier than this um, Alpine loop and it's more durable overall. Like these Alpine loops, if you do, these Alpine loops, if you do get one, just know that they definitely do wear out. Um, so yeah, take that, take that for what it's worth. I don't think all of their loops are as bad as the Alpine um, or all of their, you know, watch bands are as bad as the Alpine loop, but uh, I was pretty disappointed in that. So outside of the uh, bands and of course the ridiculous prices for the Apple Ultra watch bands, um, there's really not too much bad about the, the watch as a whole. It's done a good job for me and I enjoy it. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.